Hello, that's the infants. It's Reverend Sarah. It's lovely to be with you for another assembly. And I've got another story about another child in the Bible. I really like this story as well. And we've been thinking over the last few weeks, haven't we, about a couple of other children in the Bible. We thought about David and Goliath, that really tall giant. And then we thought about Samuel, who was trying desperately to get to sleep. But God kept calling him and had a plan for him as to what he wanted him to do. So Samuel got a very poor night's sleep that night. And today we're going to talk about Josiah. Now, I think I need to make a little apology, first of all, because I found when I've done this, it's been quite difficult to find girls who are children in the Bible, which is not really surprising because the Bible was written lots and lots of years ago. And women were seen differently then to how they're seen now. But what I do know is that everybody is important to God, whether they're a boy or a girl, whether they're one of your teachers, whoever they are, every single person is important to God. So I've chosen another boy's story because I quite like this one. And I like the story of Josiah. And there was something really special about Josiah. Because Josiah was a king. You think, okay, fair enough, well, we have kings today, don't we? We have a queen at the moment, but we know there are kings in other countries. But do you know how old Josiah was when he was a king? He was eight years old. Oh my goodness, that is not very old, is it? Eight years old. Maybe some of you think, oh, maybe when I'm eight, I could be a king. The problem is, is being a king is just an awful lot of responsibility. And Josiah found this. But you know, Josiah was a really good king. He was a king who loved God and wanted to follow God and do the right things. There were some other people of the day who weren't so keen on trying to do the right things. And they worshipped other gods and they destroyed quite a lot of the things of the time. So like our church, the temple at the time, they destroyed that. And Josiah decided that when he was king, he was going to clear out the temple and do some rebuilding to it. So at eight years old, he had to make some pretty big decisions. And what happened is they went in to start trying to clear out the temple so they could start rebuilding it. And as they were doing that, they found a book, a very special book. Now, I started to look through my bookshelves. They're all above me, so you can't see them. And I started to think, oh, what would look like a really special book for this assembly? And I found two books. And I thought, I'm going to tell you the story of these books and why they are special. So the first book, it comes in, oh, you can just about see shiny off the light, a nice shiny gold box. At that end, it has a name on, and it has my dad's name on it. If I open it up, you can see it's a book. Now, I don't know if you can see so well, but it is quite an old book, a little bit damaged, not damaged overly, but it's got marks on the cover that make us think it's probably a little bit old. If I open it up, there you go. The front says, presented to the Reverend Martin Victor Corbell on his ordination. Now that's my dad. And this book was given to him in 1966 because my dad was also a minister. He also wore a collar um, and he was someone who went about talking about God and looking after a church and a community like I do. So that many years ago, my dad was ordained and I get this special Bible to keep now and to use. And so this is really special to me. So that's my first book, okay? I have a second book. Well, I have a second envelope, actually. Okay, so it's an envelope with a name on it. If I open it up and take it out, you can see there's something very nice and shiny there. I'm going to show you that in a minute, all right? But I'm going to show you something else first. Okay, now that's an order for a carol service, for so the kind of service we'd have at Christmas. And that is from 1975. OK, you're thinking, OK, fair enough. Fairly old bit of paper. Got a bit of writing in it. Now, there are two more photographs to go with it. OK, photo one. Photo two. 
and then there's an envelope. This is good fun, isn't it? In the envelope is a card. Similar picture to the ones I showed you. Okay, so you've got to keep all this in your head. Are you okay so far with it? And then finally, I've got my beautiful gold wrapped present. And if I open up my beautiful gold wrapped present, I open it up to find a Bible. And if I open up this Bible, what I find it says is Sarah Caldwell, a small token of gratitude for the part you played in the carol service at Whittington Hospital, London, in December 1975. Some of you might be getting your fingers and toes out now to be working out how old I am. But this was given to me. But it was given to me for a very special reason. It wasn't just given to me because I took part in the carol service, although I did. I'm going to get that a bit closer. It was given to me because I was the baby Jesus in the carol service. But there's also something else really special about it because I was quite poorly as a baby and I was in the Whittington Hospital, which is in London. And because I'd been in hospital and I was in hospital for quite a long time, they asked if I would play the baby Jesus. And I got this beautiful Bible after it. And I can't remember a thing about it because it's a long time ago, but I've got these things that help me remember. So Josiah had found this book in the temple and he opened up this book and he realised that what was inside the book was really, really important and special. What was inside the book was the laws that God has given them. Now God had given laws or rules lots and lots of years ago to help his people know how to live. And Josiah found these and realised that the people of the day weren't living by those rules or that, that guidance or that law. Now we have laws in our country, don't we? We have English law. We have things that we have to live by. So maybe if we're in a car, the driver's got to go at a certain speed limit, don't they, to keep people safe. We've got laws that make sure people take care of each other. And we in the church have got laws or rules that God gave to people to help them to know how to live. Now, do you know how many laws or rules God gave his people? More fingers and toes than you have got. He gave them 614 laws. Awful lot of fingers and toes for that one. But he didn't give them those laws to make them, you know, to take away all the fun. He didn't do that. He did it to help to live well. And he did it to help them to follow him as well. Now, I know you've got some things around your school which help you to think. And I can't remember so long I've been into school that I need to come in so that you can teach me again all your lovely animals. And I can remember Tommy Tortoise and I can remember Ritzy Rat. Other than that, I can't remember. I think there might be a parrot. But it's so long that I've been in that I cannot remember. So when I come back in, please will you show me them again and please will you teach me about them so I remember. So I know how to talk to you about them as well. But you've got these lovely characters that help you think about how are you doing in a day? Are you being a bit of a ritzy rat? Are you being a tommy tortoise? Are you looking after each other and looking out for each other? The book that Josiah, this eight-year-old king fan, was so special that they went to God and they said they were so sorry for not following all his laws and guidance that he had given. And when we say sorry and we mean it, then that's OK, because things start afresh then. And that's what's happened to me as a Christian. When I get things wrong, I say sorry to God and God forgives me and we start afresh. We start again. So I wonder from the assembly, what did you like? Did you like the story of the book and thinking what's in that book? Maybe you like my beautiful books that I've got and the stories behind those. So I wonder for today, if you think about your school and your school, um, the characters you've got in your school that help you to think, oh, I'm not being so good today or, oh, I'm having, a, I'm having a good day today and help you to think about how you learn and how you are with other people. Who do you want to be like today? I wish I was there and I could hear what you were telling me, but I can't. So your teachers will have to hear and tell me the answers to those. So let's have a think for a moment, thinking about this lovely story of this eight-year-old boy 
and this book being found being so amazing. So let's have a think about the assembly and what stuck out for you. I loved getting my books out again because we often just sit on my shelves but I love getting those out and telling you the story of those and thinking how important they are but also because they're both bibles for me as a Christian what's inside them is really important because it helps me to know how to live a good life and to follow God. So if you want to pray with me you can do, if you want to just sit quietly that's fine and then I'm going to say amen at the end and you can say that if you want to join in and agree with the prayer so let's pray. Loving God, we thank you for this story of Josiah and for the example that he was of being such a good king in that day. As we think about our own school, help us to be people that look out for each other and do our best each and every day. As we think about those amazing animals and who we want to be like today, help us to pick those people, those animals, help us to be those people that try to find the good in everything and to look after each other. So help us today, I pray. Amen. Well, I love the story of Josiah. I think it's amazing. This eight-year-old boy did something really amazing. And you are amazing as well. I think there'll be one more assembly of this school year because you are getting quite close to the end of your school year. So I will probably do you one more assembly in a couple of weeks' time. And then hopefully I will see you very soon. Take care of yourself, Excellence. It's lovely to see you. Bye.